Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you how to use an OBD2 diagnostic device to read and delete failure codes. Okay, let's open the driver's side of the car and get inside. Oh, what this? This is the OBD tube scanner. Oh, nice, now let's try this. Okay, let's go down here. And there are the paddles of your car. And on the opposite side, there it is. This is the OBD2 slot. There it will match this plug. Okay, now plug it in. And as you can see after this, the OBD2 scanner will be, will be booting. Okay, let's have a seat. Close the door. And there are some informations about our driving Equipment like Audi i1 in this case diagnostic DCC lockup review to setup print data help and battery check Let's go first to the battery check by using the buttons here Okay Let's check the battery first Press OK and then as you can see 12.3 volt and the engine is off of course, because we do not plug in the keys. Now, let's go back. Escape is back going. So, now we are in the main menu. Let's go to diagnostic. I will show you what is happening if you do not turn the ignition on, okay? It is now reading the entering system. And as you can see, nothing is founding because we have to switch to position one at the ignition. Let's do this first. Switch on. Turn off the music. Okay, let's do this again. Again, again, again. Now, as you can see, the, um, the ignition is on, but the engine is not running, okay? Now, enter again. And as you can see, there it is. Entering system, good. ML status off, DTC in EQ. Reading the com completed seven, reads not completed zero. There's some information about your car. Now, here, the LED, no fault codes. That is the first set to see um, that some codes are inside. Now you can use read, erase codes, now read, for example, let's read some current DTs and have a check up, but there will be no, yeah, no fault codes, escape, go back, panning DTCs, processing, no codes, that's nice for your product, but if you have some failures, they will show that here, so permanent DTCs, Mm, nothing good job easy going as you can see now if you go to escape go back in position and now you can you are able to if you have some codes erase codes enter and then sure okay and you can delete the open codes now let's have a look what is now data stream as you can see we view all items and there will be a list of this food system nothing now but let's go and start the engine engine is now on switch to neutral and now let's have a look calculated load value engine coolant temperature so many informations about the car as you can see vehicle speed engine rounds per minute let's check this I will cheer up a little bit oh yeah there you go, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, it works. But there are so many other interesting options like graphic items, okay? Few graphic items. So now let's read them. Engine coolant level, calculate load, long turn, intake mainframe turn, everything is possible to make um, a graphical engine RPM. We will use this and what, what's next? Oxygen gentle, short term, full trim, oxygen short term, time since, engine start. This is no 
full retail distance travel so many informations about your car control middle voltage absolute load full air relative throttle position let's check this okay now we have two options and then go to escape and now there it is graphic items let's go um, now we will um, give a little bit of gas yeah as you can see now it works here proper yeah these are the values rounds per minute TPRs Now you can see the view graphic items are really nice to show and now let's go you can record them and send them to your mechanic for example freeze time O2 sensor test make O2 sensor test bank one sensor period and as you can see there is a status pass maximum limit one second everything is fine here good good old Audi as you can see so every time go back with escape and you have to choose with OK and if you like to go to the main options go back and now let's check the battery again what is with our battery 14.7 voltage engine is on as you can see it works easily good job okay now let's go to shut off the engine engine is shut it off and our engine is now going to off and our voltage will be, will be a little bit down but easy going as you can see now you're able to extract the scanner ah, there it is and you are ready for more information about this so easy going as you can see scan tool already two and one by Uton. this is a nice product for um, for a professional garage really and um, if you do not have a professional garage but you will going to buy um, a used car it is really nice to have this device with you to check the new car okay so nice product I like it and I will use it in the future so thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and see you next time soon soon